These sorts of questions and ideas are all about getting you really to conform to, um, you know, employee-like mentality. This is Richard Nikolai coming to you from typically the southern tip of Phuket in Thailand. Um, the blog is freetheanimal.com. Okay, the path of least resistance and the creative process. Hmm. Good one. Okay. Uh, well, who says it can't be both, right? Um, it certainly helps if you enjoy or love or get, you know, satisfaction and well-being out of what you do. Um, creative process. Now, that excludes a lot of people right there because most, uh, most people are employees and very few employees are involved in a creative process. You have a job that has requirements. You're not out there wondering and thinking about what can I create next. So first of all, if it's of interest to you, get yourself into a, a situation where you have a creative process to begin with. Path of least resistance. Eh, I'm meh on that. Uh, that basically means that there's some virtue in, in uh, taking the hardest route rather than thinking it through and doing it efficiently. I've talked previously about the virtue of procrastination. Whereas if you get an idea to create or produce something, like say it's a business idea, and instead of jumping right into it and toughing it out and struggling and spending a lot of time and money uh, with, before even knowing whether it works or not, you, you chew on it. Could be for days, could be for weeks, could be for months before you execute. And so by the time you've gotten there, it's probably a lot more or less resistance because you've thought it through. You've thought of the potential pitfalls and mistakes you can you could make and you avoided those and and kind of have a plan in your head if not written down, right? Why? To make it uh, uh, the, to make it at least less resistant than just jumping right in and flailing around. Simplified planning. 100 days to 2023 or however many it is. Um, these sorts of questions and ideas are all about getting you really to conform to, um, you know, employee-like mentality you know for all these planning things now some some projects are very complex like say for example a building project um, yeah I mean you need something complex to, to manage that and there's great tools out there uh, for you yourself um, I've never found better than a simple to-do list I <laughs> just write shit down and delete it when it's done. If you have a big idea, just break it down into any number of to-dos, right? You can even like subhead it. Okay, here's this project, here's this project, you know. But more often than not, it's just one long list and I just go down it and pick it. And I don't do any lines of like work on the important things first and, you know, categorize them. You're spending too much time in the process rather than doing stuff. This is just my, uh, idea um, and it just is what works uh, the best for me I've used all I've used tools out there reminders and set set dates and reminders and due dates and alarms and all this shit and you're spending as much time on your on your process uh, or on the uh, organization of it than you are on getting shit done right and there's nothing special about a year it's an arbitrary day Right, so that it, you know, perhaps it serves well to break these things down and to um, you know have resolutions and so on and so forth. But 
if you're uh, are you're planning for a resolution on January 1st uh, if it's important why not do it now and if it's not important then why have a resolution right just do it foreign to familiar do good what's doing good well who by whose standards right you always got to ask these questions they're always they're so often loaded it's like uh, uh, do what you're told do what the government says do what the church say says do what the elitists say do what the shamers say um, uh, do, 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 be a good cog in the machine, be a good employee, go get a degree and go get a, uh, a graduate degree, a master's or a PhD or something like that. And unless it's in hard sciences uh, and related like, uh, you know, engineering, math and physics and, and chemistry and, and uh, medicine and so on, it is uh, mostly um, just a way to command a higher salary as an employee somebody thinking for you telling you what to do uh, I, I use I like to use the word fun employed right okay so that's kind of what I am fun employed it doesn't pay great but uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a rewarding life okay but do good right golden rule Deal and treat others as you'd have them deal and treat you. Simple shit.